Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today, we're going to talk about the very basics of Emacs, things that you should probably know if you want to use Emacs efficiently and effectively. More specifically, we're going to talk about basic cursor commands, file handling commands, cut, copy, and paste commands. Emacs is a versatile editor. It's very powerful. The strength of Emacs comes from the fact that it understands ELISP, a dialect of Lisp programming language, which essentially means that you can program Emacs to enhance its behavior without upgrading its binary. To give an example, let's say that we invent a new programming language and we want to code in this programming language using Emacs. Emacs obviously doesn't know about this language. Uh, so we can write a small Lisp program and uh, it's a package and we can load this package to Emacs when we start Emacs and then Emacs magically would know about this programming language and we wouldn't need to upgrade its binary to be able to code in this programming language. So without further ado, let's get going. This is an empty directory. Let's make a note of that first. Let's start Emacs. This is the welcoming buffer. I hit Control X, Control F, and named the file temp.cpp. Control X, Control F asks for a file name. If it can find the file, then it loads it up. If it cannot, it creates a new file. But it's in the buffer. It's not saved yet. Control X, Control S saves the file without a prompt. Control X, S saves all the files. But it prompts first. So I hit Control X, Control S and wrote it. You saw the uh, message. I, then I hit Control X, S and it asked for a prompt. So now this is another um, command, Control S, Control W. This saves the file, but this time it asks for a name. So you can save this buffer to a new file. I hit Control S, Control W and I hit temp underscore to CPP. So we saved it to a new file. Emacs does some magic when it's saving the files. When you save the file, Emacs also saves the previous version, the one that you're overwriting, to another file. Uh, it's just the same name with tilde as a suffix. And also, as you're typing, Emacs is auto-saving everything that you type into another file name with a bound in the beginning and at the end. Let's go with Emacs without saving. Uh, we want to. I want to show you all the auto save stuff. I hit Control X, Control C to quit Emacs. It asks me whether I want to save. I say no. It asks me whether I want to exit. Yes. So look at it. There's two extra files. There's the pound, the auto save file, and there's the tilde file that is the previous version. Let's do a diff between the current version and the tilde version. You can see all the additional stuff we wrote. Let's do a diff between the autosave stuff and the current version. You can see the two lines that we've just added uh, and exit without saving. Um, let's start Emacs again and open our file. Emacs tells me that there is some uh, recovery information. So I'm using uh, command X recover file command and uh, selecting the right uh, file. Now we recovered the file. Look at it. Those two lines came back. Now let's talk about copy, cut, and paste commands. Um, Emacs comes with uh, this awesome command, Control K, which just deletes the whole line and puts it into the clipboard. And if you hit Control Y, it brings it back. Uh, Control Y actually pastes whatever is in the clipboard to wherever your cursor is. So you can hit Control Y as many times as you want. It will just paste it back. As you see, I just killed one line and hit Control Y a few times. Uh, Control Space uh, starts marking, highlighting a region. Um, and then Command W copies this region into the clipboard. Control W cuts the region into this clipboard, which I mean by that is we, it deletes the region and just puts it into the clipboard. So let's just try that. I hit, um, now I hit Control W and Control Y brings it back. Now I hit Command W, it doesn't delete it. And I hit Control Y a few times and as you see, it just pasted it and I deleted them immediately. Saving a region in Emacs involves hitting Control Space 
uh, to start selecting and then hitting Command W or uh, Control W to save it into the clipboard. And now we hit Control Y to paste whatever is in, in, the, in the clipboard. Control G will always exit your commands. So for example, I'm hitting Control G after I set the mark here. Control A brings us to the beginning of the line. Control E brings us to the end. Command greater than sign takes us to the end of the buffer. Command less than sign brings us to the beginning of the buffer. These commands you're definitely going to use, especially if you have huge files. These end of buffer and beginning of buffer becomes very important. Uh, one more thing to note, slash is undo. Command G, command slash is redo. Let's do a bunch of these things. I hit command slash a few times here. I hit command G and command slash a few times here. Well, thank you for watching. You can find the link to this file under the video. Have a great day.